I just want to do a really quick tutorial of how to install Metasploit for Windows 11. I needed to download it for another video that I'm filming and I couldn't really find a good tutorial out there so I thought I'd make one. So the first thing you need to do before you download anything is turn off that virus protection. The second you download Metasploit, your Windows 11 Defender is going to go bananas thinking it's a Trojan. So we need to get rid of that. We also need to turn off your public, no, not your public, do not turn off your public firewall, turn off your private firewall. So if we come down to search and we search for virus and threat protection, we then come to firewall network protection and we can see that I've already turned my private network firewall off, but my public one is on. So we come to virus and threat protection and we come down to the virus and threat protection settings and we come to manage settings and you wanna turn these all off. Now turning them all off might be overkill, but we're only gonna have them off for five minutes while we're downloading Metasploit. Then we can turn them all back on and I recommend that you do. So we wanna open up your browser of choice next and we wanna come over to the Metasploit documentation, which I will link in the description down below. We come down to installing Metasploit on Windows and we click download the latest Windows installer. Now this Metasploit install is great because it presets all those system path and variant variables. You just need to do some slight configuration, but it's pretty easy. Except from this doesn't work with Windows 11. I don't know if it's me or just me and a few other people, but I was reading through GitHub comments and it didn't work for a bunch of people and it's also not worked for me. So what we wanna do is we wanna cancel that and we want to come over to another section of the Metasploit documentation where it has older versions. And I've gone up to version 20 and managed to get it to work still. So if you guys download version 20, and I'll just cut the video here because it'll take a little while. All right, once that's downloaded, we can come over to your desktop and double click on the Metasploit installer. Now there's a custom configuration process that we have to go through now. It's not just a case of rapid fire and next. So we can hit next, hit I agree. We need to create an empty folder where we want it to be installed. You can just put it on your root if you want, um, but obviously if it's got stuff in it, it's not gonna work. So we need to come to where I've just created that. So test, I've already got Metasploit installed. So, you know, I'm just putting it in this test. This is another warning about the antivirus and the firewall that you need to disable. We can hit next again. Now this is the port number that Metasploit is going to run off. You should just leave it on 3790 but because I already have Metasploit installed on the default port number I'm going to move it up by two. You can leave this just as default. This is how we're going to access the Metasploit web interface. So again, you can just leave this database server port on default, but I'm gonna move mine up, or actually I'm just gonna give it 8080 Jenkins server, there we go. And we can hit next. And we wanna change this to something else as well. Again, you guys just leave the default, it's just cause I already have Metasploit installed. So we hit next, and we hit next. Once that process has finished, there's a big finish button that comes up, so you can click that. And we come down to our search bar and we can see that Metasploit console should be an option. Now the first time you launch this, it may take five or 10 minutes and the console might just hang sitting there. So don't worry, you've not done anything wrong, just leave it to do its thing. But in a minute or so, we should have access to the Metasploit framework. So there we go, full access to the Metasploit framework from your Windows 11 machine. Again, try with the latest version. If it doesn't work, just go to the other version page and try 19, 20, whatever one works with your Windows 11 machine. I don't really know if it's a bug or not, or just my own incompetence, but I did see a couple of people on GitHub complaining about it. Uh, so maybe it's a known issue. But if you enjoyed that, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.